Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to NAG 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and wire up the thermistor on our heated build plate to the wiring harness and then we're going to go ahead and pin and connect our heated build plate and our hot end to the Molex connector for quick disconnect from our circuit board assembly. So let's get started. Right now I know I said we were going to stand this thing up at its side, but actually to make it easier for you guys to see, I'm going to leave it like this. Now we are going to eventually have to put it on its side to make sure we get all of our wiring run nice and neat and to put our bottom cover on. But for now, we're going to go ahead and leave it laying flat like this. Now on our top cover, it sets like this. You will see there's a notch right here, which is very close to dead center, just a little bit off. This is where our thermistor wire and our heater wires for our heater will go. So we're just going to go ahead and go straight off of where it comes in. We can flex a little bit later. And our red and brown wire on our harness is the one that runs our thermistor. <coughs> now when I had them do this custom heater for me, I did have them use a standard, uh, what is it, a 100 GT, 104 GT. I can't even remember right now, I'm sorry but standard E3D thermistor. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see. We wanna put the connection outside, so cut these wires off right here. And then we will match this up. Right, and for the thermistor, again, polarity does not matter. Uh, grab myself a little bit of heat shrink here. Now we've got and connected up the thermistor. Next thing I need is I need to find our connector and we'll go ahead and hook up our connections for our hot end and our heated build plate. All right, so to hook up our heat bed and our hot end, we're gonna go ahead and use the other half of our Molex connector here. It plugs right in on the end of the uh, circuit board assembly tray. We'll need four female pins, your crimping tool, and obviously the wiring. Now I've gone ahead and added a little bit of wire loom just to keep the wire a little neater. And if you wrap the wires here, they will tuck down and stay nice and tight in the extrusion. Now we need to go ahead and measure out how long our wire needs to be. What I try to do is take it we go snug, it can pull forward and back a little bit. I try to find something right in the middle so I'll keep it pulled all nice and tight across the front here. And come to right in the middle of the extrusion. Just 
pair of those two wires, and then I'm going to take the hot end wire, do the same thing, loop it back here as far as I can. Object is to get it to where we can pull the slide tray out just far enough to disconnect it before we pull it the rest of the way out. I'll pull it nice and tight in here, and I'll cut that one off right there. Now we're going to go ahead and strip and tin these wires. All we need a little more than an eighth of an inch on the end for the, the pins. Hot in. Now there is a lot of insulation on this heater. I try to see if I can get the cloth off further back. I'll just strip my eighth of an inch of silicone insulation off of it. Now just in case I scored the insulation at all, I'm going to go ahead and cut a few pieces of my larger heat shrink. This will also keep that from fraying further. I'm just going to go ahead and slide that over. Put it back here a little ways. What we'll eventually do once I have the connector on, I will slide as far as up I can to the connector and set it in place. For now, we're just going to put it back like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and tin my wire. Now we need to just go ahead and put our pins on.
Alright, so we got all four wire ends on there. Now we just got to go ahead and plug them into our connector. Alright, so I went back and double checked just to make sure I've got the wiring correct. The bottom two connect, the clips on the top, the bottom two connectors are going to be our heated build plate. The top two connectors are going to be our hot end. Just to keep the wiring the same, I did do black on the left and red on the right. any further and now black on the left and red on the right that's our last connection other than the fans and this will plug in nice and neat just like that now let's test to make sure we can pull it out and unlock it more than enough yep we'll be good all right so next thing we need to do now is we will need to wire up our fan connections and get that set all right so that wraps up today's episode now if you'd like to help support the channel future development of the white knight and any other future projects there are several links in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.